YouTube! What the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here. I'm live. Sorry I'm a couple minutes late. I'm actually trying to see why Shogun 2 won't sh uh, start up, but that's what I was wanting to play first. Well, I gotta turn my sound on here. You guys like that music? Oh, that was pretty good, actually. It was a free track I pulled off a website that wasn't copyright. Gonna get me copyright strike. I thought it went good with the uh, with the Three Kingdoms announcement. I haven't gotten to watch the latest Three Kingdoms trailer. You guys want to watch it with me? Let's do it. Let's uh, let's uh, mute the music real quick. And uh, I'm going to pull up the. Uh, actually, hold on, let me do it over here, and then I'll pop it into this window. Let's go to Total War, or Total Eclipse of the Heart, either one. What do you guys think? Uh, no, there was this, uh, first gameplay, I haven't gotten to watch this yet, so let's watch it together. Hello and welcome to the first look at Total War Three Kingdoms. Today we're going to be playing through a single battle. It's 199 CE and the events of the Three Kingdoms era are well underway. The tyrant Dong Zhuo is long dead, murdered by his adoptive son Lu Bu. He's one of the, the greatest warriors of the period, who is now threatening to combine his strength with Wan Shu and overwhelm all opposition. However, Lu Bu sits in CRP, isolated from his would-be ally. The legendary commander Cao Cao senses an opportunity to strike Lu Bu down before his strength becomes too great. After months of long siege warfare and with the defenders starved of resources, Cao Cao now senses the time is right. Here, behind the walls of CRP, Lu Bu stands in the center, preparing to fight against the approaching march of Cao Cao. Okay, looks Here we awesome. are on the battlefield. The final assault is about to begin. We have Cao Cao, the legendary commander, leading his men into battle. We're going for a two-pronged approach. Cao Cao shall lead his forces through the breach, while Yi Jin will march his forces to the gatehouse and smash through and take the main concourse. On, but before we move forward, we need to lay the groundwork for our assault. We're going to raise their walls to the ground. Also, his name is Cao Cao. With that underway, we're going to move our heavy spear guard up towards the front gate for the attack on the wall. That looks good with the... Uh... Let's take a look at these heavy spear the fading guards. in the background. They're currently in the turtle formation, using their tall shields together, with the flag bearers in the center to protect from missile fire, which will greatly aid us in this assault. Lubu is holding his position in the center of CRP, waiting for someone worthy enough to fight. In Three Kingdoms, there are unique items which can be given to your generals. I like it. Here we see Lubu's horse and weapon are unique to him. But should he be slain, you could loot his items and keep them for nice. yourself. Here we have one of our generals under Cao Cao. Different generals can recruit different kinds of units. These two are I leading like their that. forces together. Yi Jin is a guardian type hero, our combat master who excels in the heart of battle, tanking and soaking up damage. While our strategist is not great in a fight, he is incredibly useful for debuffing enemy units Ooh, and allows cool. us access to unique formation types. The gap on the left is now wide enough for us to make our great assault on the side. UI looks good too. Cao Cao and his retinue are going to move up. I like Cao the Cao UI. Cao Cao himself is a commander, and they excel at buffing up nearby allied troops rather than wading into combat themselves. So we won't be seeing him being the first through the breach. He's too valuable for that. We will instead be pushing up the yellow dragons. They are being supported by the azure dragons, a hybrid heavy spear and missile infantry unit. They will first hold back and fire over the walls with their bows, and once they've spent all their ammunition, they will join in on the front line. This is good. Let's move our heavy like spears this. forward to climb the walls. It's a big siege map too. Now is the time to press the attack. Getting the Azure Dragons firing, and now charging forwards with the Yellow Dragons. Is there a heart beating in that spineless body? The UI is feels very cinematic here. That cavernous head? These heavy-hitting axe units are a formidable foe for anyone they go up against. They will make very short work of these spears. Let's hang on, let's watch that little bit again right there. Um, 
Let's watch this charge again, kind of try and get a feel for the unit mechanic here. These heavy hitting axe units are a formidable foe for anyone they go up against. They will make very short work of these spears. Hopefully they'll show a cavalry charge here in a minute. I want to see that. Let's check up on the center attack. They get a burning the settlement. settlement. Is now on fire from the barrage of arrows, and our men are getting over the walls and getting stuck into the enemy. Yes! I'm trying to get a feel for the engine here. Like, did they did they reuse an engine? I mean, obviously you always kind of reuse one. I'm assuming, right? <laughs> we come to here we go. We ride with fury at our back. Our reinforcements have arrived. This huge mass of cavalry will be the perfect thing to break Lubu's men. We'll charge them into this spear infantry. They're going to knock these guys good. flying and destroy them all. Like how the horse Our is kind of jumped. are led by Jehau Dun. He was shot in the eye by an arrow in battle against Lubu. He pulled it out, his eye still attached to the arrow, and proceeded to eat it. He used to be a general like you until he took an arrow to, to the Lubu, eye and ate it. We're going to challenge to a duel. Duels are a new yes. feature for Three Kingdoms, oh, where cool. the two heroes will duke it out in single combat what? until one either dies or retreats. Duels can help you single out an enemy combatant okay, and now take this them out cool. and turn the tide of battle. This is cool. Yeah, this is... I like this. This battle is heating uh, up. The question to see around who the wins, duel. Stay tuned for all of our coverage to me, coming out of E3 um, next week. Or join is, us on the show. Can you throw other units in there? The can you shoot experience. at them while they're in the duel? Like that's going to be interesting to try and figure out exactly how that works, right? Because in Warhammer, you can take um, you can take multiple units and um, you know, like gang up on a lord and stuff. It makes me wonder if that same thing happens there. That was that was pretty cool. What'd you guys think of that? I thought that was. They're putting a lot of work into it. There's a lot of new features there, and it seems like that's probably just the tip of it. So I have to give... Uh, so, I mean, my thoughts on that real quick. The engine looks good. It doesn't look quite the same as Attila, which is good. That's what we want. Um, I did notice when there was a charge, though, that all the units kind of still rubber-banded up um, pretty bad. I, you know what I mean? Kind of like stepping on top of each other and stuff. Um, it wasn't too bad. And then the cavalry charge looked good, the way that they came and hit the unit. So I've got high hopes for it in that regard. The siege map looked nice, it was big, um, and then uh, the, the graphics and artwork seemed to fit. The UI um, seemed to be a little more cinematic. I, I thought it looked pretty nice. Just kind of curious to see what you guys think. I like that they're trying something different with the duels and how you have the different heroes kind of like you did in Warhammer, except, you know, maybe a little, a little closer to history, but obviously still fantasy. Um, so I think that's pretty neat. You got like a strategist and a guardian and all this other stuff. That's, that's going to make it fun, honestly. Should um, help deepen up the multiplayer tactics a little, um, rather than just your typical clash and outflank stuff. So, how y'all doing today? By the way, you doing good? I'm trying to get Shogun Two to start. It wouldn't start earlier. I just verified the game cache while we were watching that. So let's see if we can get it to start. Okay, get off my screen. Here we go. I think we're going to get in. So if you all want to join me, fire up Shogun 2 right now. Because we're going to defy some modernization together. This would be a nice retro. So I actually decided to do this retro stream at the request of uh, mostly Sinister. But there was other people who seemed on board with the idea. Um, I have a lot of folks who are always supporting me on stream. And the idea was, hey, why don't you, um, why don't you jump in and... Uh, have them do a stream with you where they get to play the games with you and stuff and I'm like, oh, sounds good to me. Yes, I understand the music's a little bit loud, Enzi. I'm about to turn it off, man. I'm just starting Shogun 2 here. Give it just a second. Shogun 2 takes forever to start. Takes a very long time to start. There it goes. Switch over into the game. Uh, 
Uh, there it goes. All right, Shogun 2 should be up. Hang on, I got a... There was a super chat there from the Vomit That's Green. He says, just because I love you, thanks for the two bucks, Vomit That's Green. Love you too, man. Um, let me check on my... Let me check. Oh, I meant to upload the new emojis too. If you guys give me just a second, we can organize some of this. So you all go get Shogun 2 fired up. Let me let me um, get a couple of things ready here that I didn't have a chance to do before stream. And you can join me in Shogun 2. We're going to do some uh, Fall of the Samurai versus traditional armies. Should be a lot of fun. All right, what was the thing? Oh, I need to go to my overlay. I don't know why this hasn't been starting up automatically. Launch overlay. Properties. Okay, let me test this here. I'm gonna run a test on the overlay and make sure it's uh, working. Yep, yeah, okay, it's working. No, that's not a real one. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, everything's working. The overlay's working, so if you guys do your super chat, it'll be there. Sorry the vomit that's green, but uh, it didn't pop up there, but I caught you. Thanks for the two. The rest of it's working. Let me get the emojis up there, and then hopefully by that point, you all will be ready to go to battle with me here. So you all be patient for just a second longer. Um, let's throw these emojis up there. Dylan made us some more emojis. I think you all are going to like them. Uh, they're pretty cool. Let me save these real quick here. It doesn't take long to upload these, and then you guys can have fun with them during the stream. Save it as. Oh, we got a new sponsor! Zarpath? Thanks for sponsoring, man. So, Zarpath, Chris, let's get some WA for him. Appreciate you sponsoring the channel. Hope you enjoy the new emojis that are actually coming your way right now and the uh, loyalty badge. So thank you for sponsoring. Really appreciate your support. Definitely glad to have you in the sponsor wa. You can be one of the first to uh, check out these new emojis that I'm about to upload right now. So y'all hang tight. We're about to get started. Like I said, go fire up your Shogun 2. Get ready to join me because this stream won't be fun unless you all jump in with me and help me make it awesome. So, definitely help me make it awesome. The new emojis are going up here right now. So, let's see. Sponsorships, here it is. Let me get into my settings. All right, so custom emoji. So this one that's gonna go up, the first one, and the first one that's gonna go in is actually a throwback emoji, so it's perfect for this stream. It's uh, going to actually be um, a uh, Sextus emoji. For those of you who watched my West Rome campaign, uh, Sextus was one of the characters in it. So if you ever feel like getting your Sextus uh, in the chat, this one might be a good one. You all like this here. So here's the Sextus Perennis emoji. It's now live. So you all can check that one out. And then I've got... An Appius one because he was also a popular character there. These were requested in the last stream. So here comes the Appius emoji. So Sextus and Appius, you all can have dueling emoji wars there for who your favorite character was. And then um, I've got a Royal Peltist emoji that I think you guys will like here. Peltist. There we go. Because someone requested it, they thought that would be a good one. Reminds us of Javelin Day in, in Rome, too, so there you go. You guys got some new emojis to uh, play around with and chat. They are live, so let them rip, boys. Let them rip. Oh, I like that. Holy Pilgrim's got, like, the fork and the knife between Sextus and Appius. Nice. It's, it's going to be great. Okay, so new emojis are out there. People are spamming them away. I am in Total War Shogun 2. We're going to host up a battle. Alan Barker says the duel mechanic is cinematic. Two lords fight until one dies or runs. Yeah, I saw that. It looks awesome. I think it's going to be really good. Now I think I have like two, uh, like the, uh, 
Oh, no, I know why I'm hearing the noise twice. You guys aren't seeing it twice, though. But yeah, thank you, Alan Barker, for the 10. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the support. It says uh, one of them, uh, warriors will actually move out of the way to make room and a couple of uses per battle. That's cool. I like that. That's going to be a good mechanic. I like the fact that you can keep it singled out like that um, because if, if you couldn't single it out, I'd be worried that people would just start trying to blob into... Um, that people would just be trying to blob into the... Uh, here, let me close both these there. Okay. There we go. So, closing some extra windows I had in the background. All right. So, I do want to do some um, battles here. Let's do a multiplayer battle. Oh, whoops. That's a multiplayer campaign. Don't have time for that. Where else we do the classic? I think you go in here and hit class. Uh... Ha <laughs> ha! Why? Thanks for the 402, or I guess it was three pounds. Nothing to say, just want to support. Well, thank you, Why? I appreciate the support, man. You're awesome. So, um, let's go into... How do you get to the classic battle? Battle replays, custom battle... I can't even remember. I think you gotta go in here. And then we do, like, the... Man, it's been so long, I can't even remember. It's the main menu, your avatar, avatar profile, conquest map. There's a button for classic battle, like a... Like a battle map. Man, it's been... Now you guys can tell. Go to avatar conquest, then classic battle above. That's what I was thinking. I don't see it up here, though. Conquest map. Do I gotta go to the conquest map to find it? Yeah, here it is. Um, battle list. Okay, here we go. So, I'm gonna host up a battle. Um, defy modernization. And just to make sure that only folks from the stream can join in, I'm gonna put the password here. It's just 123. 123 is the password. Uh, we'll do classic battles so no one has to worry about having a good avatar with, like, all the abilities and veterans and all that other stuff. So, let's just do classic battle. We'll just open it up here. So we'll do a 2v2 to start with. So if y'all want to join in, feel free to join me. I'll try and make uh, room for sponsors first uh, if it starts getting too full. But it looks like people are already in. So sweet. We already got a match here. Buggington, welcome into the match. We got Icarus and C3K. So thanks for joining, guys. I'm trying to remember how to chat in here, too. Um, what is my chat button in this one? Oh, it's right down here. I'm so used to Warhammer. It's been a while. So, um... Alright, first match. My team will be... Traditional. Uh, then switch up. Alright. You guys pumped for some Shogun 2 action here? What clan should I be? What clan do y'all want to see me play as? I kind of want to do a Segi, but um, help me pick one. C3K, I'm watching your stream now. Well, appreciate you for being in the stream, C3K. <laughs> Fat guy in his basement says, found some change in my couch for the Air Freedom Fund. WWG one two. I don't know what all that stuff means at the end, but thank you very much, fat guy in the basement. Appreciate you scraping up the change out of your couch and supporting the stream. Um, my team is traditional. Other team modern. Seeing some Takeda in there. Yeah, Takeda. Okay, we'll we'll do Takeda. All right, let's see if they get it switched up. Uh, the avatar above your profile pick looks like a samurai. Uh, 
There we go. So, Puggington, Puggington, and Icarus need to switch. Or, sorry. Not Icarus. But C3K need to switch to Imperial or Shogunate faction. Oh no, no, he's good, he's good. Never mind. Yeah, I think we're all good. I think we're all good. So we got Shimazu and Takeda going up against Satsuma and Aizu. So everything's all good. Um, so I'm going to put, um, I know he's not Shogun too lore friendly, but I'm going to put Gorbol up there um, so that you all... And hold on just a second, I'm going to edit Gorbol down just a little bit here. Hold on, what am I... Uh, hold on. That's game capture. I want Gorbol. There we go. All I need Gorbol to do is just cover up the armies here, so we should be good. Alright. So I'm going to start picking my army. And uh, let's have some fun here. Man, it has been so long. So, so long. Let's do... All right. All right, let me know. All right, so I'm ready to go whenever everybody else is. Uh, let's pick a map. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do... Crossroads is a pretty cool map. Let's do that one. And let's actually, let's go large funds. So that'll give everybody a little bit more money. Okay. Got it. I'm going to ready up. All right, let's check on the chat here. Zarpath Christ, Hobbit Army? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> Mr. Wolf Llama, dropping the super chat on me with the $2, says, I'd love to play with you, but I'm bad. Hey, dude, you're still free to join. Everybody's free to join. This stream is for you all to have fun with, to join me, and let's play some games.
You know what, I'll bet this game took a long time to load because I'll bet it's installed on my hard drive. I'll bet I never put this game on my uh, solid state drive. So it's probably gonna take me forever to load into the battle. Yeah, we're gonna need some good luck. I find these uh, these classical matchups to be pretty tough depending on who's controlling the uh, who's controlling the other army. Sorry I interrupted your dauntless grind there, Kristoff. Welcome to the crossroads, people. Boy, it's been a long time since I've been on the crossroads. Sisphil says that uh, SSD doesn't really make much difference in Shogun 2. Really? Interesting. CJ, I'll take Gorbull off the screen as soon as I'm done setting up my troops. We'll get rid of him, don't worry. Here we go. Alright, Gorbull be gone. Wait on everybody else to get in here. You all having a good Saturday? Man, it's been a good Saturday for me. It's been a good Saturday for me. It's been a lot of fun. I've got to remember that they don't have a lot of things in this one, like the AI attack. Oh, I forgot about key buildings, too. Let's see. And you come in separate deployment zones, which would be interesting. Oh, man, this game is so different. <clears throat> now, the frame rates aren't very good, either. I would have expected the frame rates to be a lot better. <laughs> this is an old game. I haven't ever benchmarked this game anytime recently, though, obviously. Let's get my troops. Looks like there's a little lag in the battle. Let's do this thing. Who's ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. People saying Warhammer is so much more interesting. Uh, this game actually had a lot of very innovative multiplayer features that I wish would come back. The multiplayer on this game was pretty deep considering how many, uh, how few like units there were. Um, so I actually really enjoyed this one. Let's push up. Push over here to the side of the map. Oh, the lag. There we go. A lot of the features, the movement features aren't the same here either.
See if I can micro my way out of a paper bag here. That's right, Zunet, we're going to war. Let's see what we're up against. Red bear, red bear. Yari key. A lot of red bears, some Tosa riflemen. Myself, the range and some of these units. Anybody remember the range on a red bear? It's 125, I think. I'm gonna try and capture these key buildings for our team real quick. We may be in range of some other. This map has a little bit of terrain in it, though, too. It'll go good for us or not. Actually, let's get a general over there. Go ahead and capture these buildings real quick. Oh, he's got spearmen coming in. That's not good. But I told you to get over here. Cleaned up a lot of the cavalry, but then we're gonna have to get out of here. Shameful display. Right, let's pull out what we can. We had a pretty good, pretty good engagement over there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. A rifleman hidden there. Hidden units, my lord. Treacherously meant to Let's go. Let's do this. Yari Ashigaru rush. Ton of calves on station. Fall back a little. Should be able to bust through right here. Okay, let's keep moving. Four. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's get reengaged. Our general is in great danger. Keep moving. Let's wrap him up, boys. Let's keep moving. See if we can finish busting up all these lines. Regroup them in. Try and take out some of these. We're probably gonna lose our general up in this craziness. Oh yeah, my teammate got beat, so we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. Cavalry inbound. Let's see if we can head it off. Try and finish some of these red bears. Carbine cavalry, catch them. Get them, boys. Yeah, get that carbine cav. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display! It is a shameful display. Let's go get on these guys, regroup some of this cav, get some Tosa rifles. Alright, let's can snipe the enemy general. Oh, we are dying so bad. Take them all down. Go down in glorious battle. 
Fight to the death. Oh, you want a piece of me? I don't think you want it, General's Bodyguard. I don't think you want this. Our General has been injured, my lord. He lives, but must leave the battle. Yeah, must leave the battle. That means he's dead, fool. All right, well, we tried. It was a fun fight. I feel like we put a pretty good rush on the uh, on the player over here. Yeah, we put a pretty good rush over here. We almost got rid of that army. Shameful display. Patchy the ever salty. I'm not salty. That was fun. We're going down fighting. A costly enemy victory. GG. Fun stuff. Let's do another. Uh, let's do another battle here in Shogun Two. Buggington, you didn't have any hours in uh, Shogun 2? Shogun 2 is good stuff, man. Alright, let's check it out here. We got 1,200 kills. That wasn't too bad. Let's check out the unit statistics. Takeda Shingen picked up 29 kills. Look at this, the Katana Cavalry. They got some work done. I thought the Katana Cavalry would break those guys quicker. Because they got a pretty clean entrance to the fight because of the uh, the Yari Ashigaru. The Bow Warrior Monks ended up doing very little. So I should have just put more infantry and then I think we could have done it. Um, I was thinking that what would have happened though is we could keep the Bow Warrior Monks in the back. And just use them to uh, to shoot, you know, kind of pick off units from long range. But it did not work out. Did not work out. Ah, that was good stuff. Fun stuff. Let's check out Puggington's. Can we get his stats? Or is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can go through everybody here. It's been a long time. Got to remind myself. Let's see. Puggington. He got some work done with these Nodachi Samurai here and this uh, Shimazu Katana Samurai. They must have gotten into a unit with fairly minimal losses. Look at this Rifleman. Cleaned up 161 kills for C3K. <laughs> wow. Even these Red Bears right here managed to get quite a few. They were, they were shooting at a lot of Yari Ashigaru. So I can definitely see how that's possible. Black Bear Infantry. Look at that 200 on the Carbine Cab. Those guys cleaned house. A Catling Gun? Dang, I missed that. An Imperial Guard Cavalry. Yeah, those guys got some work done. Imperial Guard Cab is actually somewhat tricky to, to fight against. Uh, unless you have some light cavalry or something that can catch them good. So that was fun. Thanks for the game, guys. Um, I'm going to exit out of this one. I'm going to host up another one to give other people a chance to join in. So if you are in the stream and you want to join in, get your game turned on now and get ready to join. And I'm going to say hi to a few folks here because I haven't gotten to you yet. Veracity, it's good to see you here. Philippe, Irish Total War. Forgot to use Flaming Arrows for the Bow Monks. Uh, I don't even remember what... Oh, the extra damage. Yeah, that's right. Man, I haven't played this game in forever. Which faction had Bulletproof Samurai? I believe that was the Date. The Date, if I remember right, Zunet. And I don't know that they're bulletproof, but they are certainly more bullet resistant. Ika says he wants to take an Armstrong gun. Misclicked. Yeah, Armstrong guns were dang good. Chris Ray Stevens, it's good to see you. Let's do one more Shogun 2 battle here. Or should we jump over into Rome 2? Should we jump over into Rome 2 since I don't know how much time we'll have and we want to cover multiple games? You all tell me. I'm going to wait for the chat to give me some feedback. Rome 2 or keep going Shogun 2 here? <laughs> We're not going all the way back to Rome 1. I don't think that one's going to stream too well. Some people just loaded Shogun. I'll tell you what. Let's do one more in Shogun 2. And um, let's do some fun here. 
Let's do a follow the samurai naval battle. So the password's still one, two, three, okay? Password's still one, two, three. We're gonna do a follow the samurai naval battle. So if you join in, um, and we'll make it, uh, since it's a naval battle, we'll have some fun here and we'll do a 3v3. Um, and we will do large funds. And yeah, follow the samurai. That's what we want to do. I mean, if, I would not recommend picking a traditional faction for a naval battle. It would probably be a massive mistake. So I will pick the... Who do I want to pick here? Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with Satsuma. And then we'll modify the fleets. Uh, let's select the map. Uh, let's do the Seto Inland Sea. Y'all want me to get into some Warhammer later on, too? I'm thinking about doing a Rome 2 battle, and then, honestly, I've been wanting to play some more of my Ungram Iron Fist campaign. You all tell me what you want to see next, is we can variety this up. So let's see who we got here. We got Play Poner, Puggington's back for more, uh, Maraku, Fire Flip, Nordic Blade. Just have fun. Make lots of explosions, please. All right, so let's get a fleet set up. I'm gonna pop Gorbul back up here and um, get my fleet set up. Super chat there. I don't recognize the currency. A young wolf dropping, hang on, what was it? A thousand of that currency. It was like 46 US, which is huge. It was a lot. Holy cow. Thank you very much. I'm not sure what that currency is. You all feel me on what the currency is, so I don't know what I'm in here. Young wolf 1223. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Let's get some wa in the chat. For Young Wolf, really appreciate you jumping in and supporting. Want to see some appreciation for him. Let's get some uh, some tankards of Bugmans and some, some Wah there for him. It's Indian Rupees. Okay. Indian Rupees. Thank you, Young Wolf. Really appreciate it, man. Is there some kind of battle you want to see today? Let me know. If I can help you, I'll try. Hang on, there's these wooden frigates. I'm trying to remember, what is the, um, what was the, isn't there an ironclad that could shoot forward on its cannon like a long ways? Which one was that? Wooden frigate, yeah, the Kotetsu, that was it, all right. I remember now. I was trying to remember which ships were which. All right, I have no idea whether my fleet will be any good, but we're gonna try it. Torpedo boat spam. <laughs> Torpedo boats are stupid fun, man. They are so fun. Yeah. Uh, holy cow. Got Daniel Forsland here. It's about to pop up. He's gonna drop 20 euros on me. So it's got my tax return today, so here's a little appreciation for you. Loving the EU-friendly Steams. Well, Daniel, I try to do these during the weekend because I know I have so many awesome viewers over in the Europe and other parts of the world that have a hard time joining when it is evening my time. So I do try hard to, to get one of these in every week at least. Um, it's definitely the best day for me to do so. So thank you very much, Daniel. Let's get some wah and some big love for him in the chat as well. Raise him a tanker to Bugmans if you got it. If not... Let's get him a big, big wah. 
I have not gotten a tax rebate in, like, forever. <laughs> they just take more money from me now. I get to the end of the year and I send them a check. It's the opposite. But that's okay. I am lucky to have a good day job. So, I'm fine. That's taxes, man, right? That's taxes. We all deal with it. So, I can't ready up because we're waiting on someone who has overspent, I believe. Oh, too many players for the selected map. Ah, my bad. Is this one bigger? Can you not do a 3v3? There it goes. Second world red deck. No, I'm not using the Obama clan right now. I am using Satsuma. Yep, Appius did get an emoji, Anthony. You guys can represent all your Appius and Sextus memories there in the chat. Make those two guys proud if they get a chance to join. So here we go. See you, Japan. Do a little naval battle. Fall of the Samurai naval battles had such cool graphics, and they were a ton of fun. They could be tricky, though, because just all of a sudden you get up and have your boat explode. You guys like that Royal Peltist emoji, too? Reptile King? I think that was pretty cool. JG Master says, caring for some Napoleon Total War? I might. Napoleon also had some good naval battles. I felt like, honestly, the best naval battles that CA ever achieved, though, probably were Fall of the Samurai. Uh, no, Gorbul's gonna come on down. Uh, hold on. There you go. Volo Moss, I'm not sure if I'll get into Attila today. We'll see. <laughs> the little Asian says, hey, watching from Japan, 4.50 in the morning. <laughs> well, here you go. Themed for you. Ah, uh, check this out. So he's just got a HMS victory here. Uh, the warrior class, I mean. Woo! It's a big boat. Let's see. Yeah, Leocion. So he's got the French frigate there. Fun stuff. I'm sitting here showing our enemies that they're stream, shiping, uh, stream sniping, but we'll be alright. Shell there. Sometimes these naval maps are really wide open. Yeah, they're big. I'm gonna go ahead and ready up here so we can get going. David the Shadow Gave, Aaron Shogun. That's right, David. Captain KS, Ave to you. Thanks for joining. Uh, Volomas asked whether Three Kingdoms will have naval battles. Have they said anything on that? I'm guessing no. But, not sure. I'm assuming most of the game's gonna take place inland. Let's move our Kotetsu forward. All ahead, boys, all ahead. All right, up against the Laocian, a Kotetsu, a couple of torpedo boats. One of them has their general on a torpedo boat. That's gutsy. An armored Chitin-class Corvette. Armored 
Kayu Maru. Kayo Maru. Armored frigates. Several armored frigates. Okay. Steam ahead, boys. Full steam ahead. Ooh, torpedoes in the water. That's a long torpedo launch. I want to say Kotetsu had some of the longest range, so we'll try and get in here and see if we can do a little sniping. A little snipey snipe. Oh, there was a bunch more ships way out here. Let's go check that out. Uh, people are just launching torpedoes off here. We got uh, another Laocion, another frigate, and a few torpedo boats. I like the just like random torpedo launches here. Should be able to avoid that without too much issue. It does take a little while to close the distance in these battles. Okay, Kotetsu just opened fire here. Torpedoes in the water, sir! Indeed. Torpedoes have a limited range, too, though. Something to be aware of. Alright, my Kotetsu. I'm trying to team up a little bit here on their Kotetsu. Ooh, we're gonna take a hit from that Laocion. Your general is under attack, sir. Let's actually swing this way. Nick Rutsis saying greetings from Fort Worth. Greetings to you, Nick. Thank you for the $10. Appreciate you supporting the stream. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get some Wa and some tankards or anything else you can put up there for Nick to thank him. It's fast reload. Come on. Trying to put some damage on that Laocion class. Let's see if we can get some torpedoes going here. More torpedoes in the water over here. There's a skirmish going off way to the other side, but I can't keep an eye on it. A torpedo is near one of your ships, sir. Keep the fire going there. Let's get our torpedo boats back a little. Oh, these torpedoes got a chance here. These ones got a chance. Ooh, our torpedo boat just took some explosive hits there. Torpedoes in the water, sir! Oh, 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 oh! We're gonna get a hit! Unless he can steam out of it. We're gonna score a hit. Yes! Oh, we're gonna get a hit on this Kotetsu as well. Woo! Torpedoes in the water. Oh, we got another one there. All right, let's put the fires out. How do we, uh, uh, let's go into repair, see if we can fight the fires. General, one of your ships is threatened by torpedo fire. What do we got coming up on us? Just a torpedo boat. Let's put this torpedo boat out of its misery here. That was a nice explosion there. Do you guys like that explosion? I'm under repairs here, trying to get the fire out on my, uh, on my frigate. Oh, torpedoes in the water. All right, yeah, let's cease the repair. Full steam, full steam, full steam. A torpedo is near one of your ships, sir. Let's maneuver, maneuver. Oh, it's a pretty good torpedo. 
Move, 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 move! Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna take those. I should have just gone forward. Oh, I'm gonna end up taking both those torpedoes. Oh no, I just barely missed one. Just barely missed one. I was, wow. Bad maneuvering on my part. I'm gonna go under repair here. We're taking on water on one of our torpedo boats. It's gonna sink. All right, let's let's lend a hand here. Let's put some fire on this Corvette. Is that an armored Corvette? Yes. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah, dang, man, we lost our armored frigate. My bad maneuvering. It's routing, I guess. I don't know if it's possible for ships to come back. I don't remember. Uh, hang on. Battle's locked up here, folks. Balance of power is in our favor. We got this huge armored frigate here. Or no, that's my armored. No, no. It's someone else's armored frigate. Yeah, mine. Mine routed. Ah, dang. Someone dropping? What happened? Game's locked up. Torpedoes in the water, sir! Okay, fire flip drop from the game here. Let's go see if we can put some more torpedoes out here. Come on, sail up. Sail up. Oh, those hits. That, that feels bad, man. Alright, good. Took another armored ship out of the battle. Right, let's push up. Let's actually not let our torpedo boat take those shots like I just did. Ow, ow. Fortunately, he's doing armor piercing. If those were explosive, I probably would have been out, and I'm probably already out. Yikes. Why did I do that? I should have kept my torpedo boat back. I always forget to keep those guys back. Get too antsy with them. All right, let's take out this armored frigate, boys. Check out this armored frigate here. We got a duel going on. The ship is on fire. It could spread, sir. Yeah, it's too late for that. All right, we took another one out. Let's push forward. And it looks like we won this duel here. Puggington, nice work. There's a couple of enemy boats left over here. Looks like they got a couple of torpedo boats. So I think we should be able to fight our way through this. Let's switch over to explosive shells. These torpedo boats aren't armored. Woo, yeah! That's why you play Shogun 2 naval battles right there. That looked good. Man, this game still holds up pretty well all these years later. Look at the beating this armored frigate's putting down over here. All right, so we gotta take out these torpedo boats. The Kotetsu, man, they are just, they're a clutch unit. Look at all these guys out here. Poor souls. Sea of Japan is going to be their final resting place. Blow it up. Blow it up. A torpedo is near one of your ships, sir. Holy crap, yeah. This time I'm going to start early. The guys trying to torpedo me. S steam away, steam away. Yeah, we should be able to clear both those torpedoes. I forgot you can ram with the Kotetsu as well. It's gonna be a close miss, but you're gonna miss it. Your so-called allies. Holy man, this guy's dropping some torpedoes on me. He's serious. Here, should we ram him? This is risky because he can totally torpedo me, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, check out the Gatling gun on the back. 
Yeah! Give it to him! Oh, oh, he's trying to give it to me. Ooh, look at that close miss. Close miss. Check out the Gatling guns. Oh, man, that's beautiful. This game had some beautiful naval battles. Fun battle. Fun battle. Lily livered cowards! <laughs> Everybody misses the Kentucky Fried Advisor. Everybody misses him. Alright, should we go get a Rome versus Carthage for old time's sake? I think we should. Thank you guys, that battle was awesome. A lot of fun torpedo work in there. Appreciate our opponents giving us a fun match. Artyan, I agree. Sea battles in Warhammer would be absolutely amazing. Because there's so much magic and crazy stuff you could do with it. There we go. I'm going to save that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Those Kotetsu, man, when they get in close range and open up with that uh, with the uh, Gatling gun, it's pretty awesome. Grorker, sponsor in the channel. Grorker, hope you enjoy the uh, emojis and also hope you enjoy the loyalty badge, that nice Carthaginian shield. Let's get some wa in the chat for Grorker. Welcome. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. Really appreciate it. If you all want to support the channel, uh, obviously, if you don't have the money to throw at it, that's perfectly fine. Subscription, like the video if you like it, watch the videos. Um, all those things help me a ton. If you do want to support, though, with your finances, there are different ways to do it. You can sponsor the channel by clicking that button in the YouTube gaming app if you're on a mobile device, or you can do it in the regular YouTube on browser that's right next to the chat. You can also super chat, donate, get your message popped up on the screen where everybody else can see it. Those who sponsor get loyalty badges, emojis. They change over time as you continue to sponsor. It's pretty cool stuff. And I'm always trying to add new emojis so that you guys have something fun to play with there in the chat. I've got some ideas coming for uh, some other fun stuff too. So, pretty excited. But thank you all for the support. Thank you, Grorker, if that's how you say it. I may be saying it wrong. I'm going to exit out of the game. Let's head back to the desktop here and fire up Rome 2. That battle was fun, man. So if y'all want to join me in Rome 2, go fire up your Rome 2. And feel free to... Jump in. Ah, stupid. Steam gets frozen. There we go. Well, let's jump in and play some Rome 2. I want to have a Carthage and Allies versus Rome. Select all. There we go. C3K. Appreciate you joining the battle, man. I'm glad you got to jump in and play. It says greetings from Belgium. Well, greetings back to you from the US. Hope all is well in Belgium. Appreciate the fun battle, man. That was great. Both of them. All right, let's swap back over here. Rome 2, you gonna pop up? There it goes. All right, so I'm going to host up a multiplayer battle. Carthage v. Rome. Again, password's going to be 1, 2, 3. And um, what we'll do is let's do a 3v3 battle. And I'm going to play as Carthage, of course. So let me get Carthage here. So I'm thinking, let's do this. This is how we'll do the teams. Um, I remember what my chat button is, yeah, is Y. So, teams are Carthage. Um, let's do, hold on, let me think through the factions here real quick. So I wanna do Carthage. Um, what was one of the, is it the Mesazali? Yeah, that would be a good one. 
Let's do Carthage, Mesazali, and Lusitani. So, all right, here's here's the way we're gonna team it up. So Carthage, Mesazali. Ah, I forgot how to spell it. Ah, hold on. <laughs> I have to go remind myself how to spell it here. Carthage, M A S A. M A S A E Y M A S A L E something like that and Lusitani and we're gonna go versus Rome and who should we give them as allies? How about uh, Rome and Syracuse and who else? Rome Syracuse. Who else should we give Rome? I'm trying to think of a somewhat historical ally here. Let's see, Rome. Syracuse wasn't really an ally, but they fought against Carthage, so I'm okay with that one. Massilia? Okay, we'll give we'll give Rome a couple of Greek uh, allies. Whoops, need to get back in the game. My bad. All right, so Rome, Syracuse, and Massilia. Not exactly their allies, but that way it's not just all Rome. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean. So, Masaisley probably helped Rome at some point, but I'm looking to have Numidian units in with Carthage because they used a lot of Numidian mercenaries. You on my team have Masaisley. Oops. Can switch to them if needed. One else be Carthage. All right, so I'm gonna switch over. I'll play Miss Azalee. We'll let someone else rep Carthage here. There we go. So we should be able to swap it up now. What's going on, Brendan? Thanks for joining. Gavin, thank you for joining. Should have done Macedon instead. Yeah, we could. But I want to have some Numidians. Romans loved all that Numidian cavalry. They liked getting pummeled by it, that is. Let me get some Gorbul up here so we can uh, block any stream sniping attempts. I'm not the horned rat, Brendan, but I noticed you, didn't I? Let's see here. Should be able to have some fun with this army.
Okay, I think I'm set. Uh, let's make sure we got a good map. Let's pick a Numidian map. What's this? Demidi? There we go. Yeah, Brennan, that's why I like doing the uh, the live stream, so that you get a chance to talk to people, they get a chance to participate. Definitely a way to make it fun. I think uh, whenever I'm done with this one, I kind of just want to jump back over into uh, Warhammer and play me some Ungram campaign. Got a hankering to slay some more enemies. I just need a few more to ready up here, so should be a fun Rome 2 battle here. I don't know, Puggington, then I'd have to get Napoleon out and run through a battle on there. Much as I love these old games, I still like Warhammer more. No doubt about it. Yep, we played Shogun 2 earlier, White Tiger. We had some fun with it. Had a really fun naval battle, actually. Attila greater than Rome 2. Eh. I don't know if I agree with that, Call of Duty. Man, Attila was pretty bad, actually, in my opinion. I actually thought that Rome 2 Emperor Edition was probably better than Attila, other than a few campaign mechanics. Uh-oh, some of them saying the game crashed. See what happened? <laughs> that sucks. Well, <laughs> if that's the way Rome 2 is going to be, <laughs> let's grab something else. I'll tell you what, guys, I just feel like, um, I feel like playing some campaign, honestly. The battles are fun, but I just, I feel like slaying some people with Ungram. You guys good with that? You guys good with that? I'm good with it. That's what I want to do. I want to slay some uh, Zanganaz scum and uh, get back into... Some Warhammer. I don't think I have Medieval 2 installed right now, do I? Someone's asking about Medieval 2. Let me look. Uh, honestly, do not remember. Medieval 2 Total War. I don't think I have it installed right now. Oh, good old Rome 2 crashing on us. <laughs> can we get some uh some can we get some Ungrams in chat? Get excited for the Ungram campaign here. Some tankards of Bugmans. How do you guys like this stream just flopping around all over the place? Let's get Gorbo out your face. That can't be fun to have a Gorbo in your face. Let's stomp some enemies here. Oh yeah, there's the Bugmans. There's the Bugmans and the Slayers. 
I like the poor man's Bugmans there from David too. It's good stuff. Demarku HD says Napoleon. Well, this is kind of like Napoleon. We're gonna have a bunch of thunders. We can name him the Old Guard if that makes it feel better. Oh yeah, we had this big vampire battle to fight here too. Sweet. I, I do love those old games, but man, it's hard for me to get outside of Warhammer. <laughs> this game's just so good. This game is so good. OCWL says excited about some old Total Wars, but then Warhammer. We played some old Total War, and then it crashed on me. <laughs> Crashing games don't make for good streams. I know there's other ones, but... I just want to play me some Ungram. We can audible this. Josh Warning, welcome back. Snores, good to see you. Michael Collins. <laughs> Michael says at least it's not trash like Thrones of Britannia. Thrones of Britannia wasn't bad. I just didn't find it all that exciting. It's, like I said, it's just kind of hard to get excited about the older games right now because Warhammer is just vastly superior. Vastly superior. I think the only way it doesn't feel that way is if you're just like, you just, for whatever reason, you totally can't stand the, uh, the, uh, fantasy thing. If you just cannot tolerate fantasy in any way, then I, I think that to me would be the only reason that you could give for trying to say that the older games are better than Warhammer, because to me, it's just, it's more of a fact that they're not. Again, doesn't mean they're not fun, man. You guys saw me enjoying the crap out of Shogun 2 a minute ago. Honestly, that game has aged fairly well, um, all things considered. Rome 2 is great, but it's still just kind of riddled with some problems that should have been solved, and it kind of makes it frustrating for me. And Thrones of Britannia, again, is good, but it really needed to come into a new engine, I think, to really make it have more promise. Should be able to outrange these vampire scum. Let's get our uh, get our blob going here. Where do you all want to go on the Sangram campaign? Should we go north or should we go south? Right now we're dealing with vampires, but should we go north and take the fight to Norska? Should we try that? Uh, White Tiger asks, is Rome 2 the same engine as Shogun 2? No, they were not. I mean, it's the same engine, kind of. Um, they make changes to it over time. I don't know all the details about it, but no, it was it was a little different coming through. And then Warhammer was the first one to have a 64-bit engine, and that's part of the reason why it's so different, and that's part of the reason why it runs better, even with the better graphics. Uh, Shogun 2 actually had pretty poor frames a minute ago. I was actually kind of surprised by that. But um, Rome 2 actually still runs pretty good in terms of frame rates. It, it had a lot of struggles at first. But right now, it runs pretty good. But you can take a game like Attila, and even all these years later, and uh, it's... Ooh, those are Blood Knights, baby. We're gonna feel that. We're gonna feel that. Chad Erickson, thank you for the $1.99. Appreciate you making it rain on me. Hope you are having a good day. Thank you for your kind donation. Let's get some love and chat for Chad Erickson. Putting that money out there, supporting the channel. Thank you very much, sir. I'm going to keep my Slayers very close to the Grudge Throwers. Because I really think the Grudge Throwers are the, the key here. 
Does any of these guys have magical attacks? Good, they do. So that um, that Banshee should get wrecked. A little bit worried about my runesmith here. He's he's gonna be in a bit of a tough spot. Let's kind of fall back a little bit here with their skirmishers. Ooh, yeah, we're we're getting a bit of a beating up here. Have to run away from some bats here. Got some grave guard with great weapons moving up, but we've got a nice blob here now to just unload on, but I mean that, ooh, our Thane just got routed actually. Uh, let's get our hammers into action here. Back up. Let's put these guys out to the flank. Same thing here, let's go start working to the flank. Wow, our leadership's taking a beating. Drop some more abilities. Keep supporting our leadership out there. Let's get these guys all the way to the flank. Come on, over here. Keep moving. Okay, I guess take fire at will off because I want you guys to shoot out here. Our peak gate guard is doing some pretty good wrecking. Oh, I think we're going to lose our runesmith. If he makes it out of this alive, it's going to be miraculous. I'm going to get him killed here. I shouldn't have thrown him into the blob in the kind of shape that he was in. Oh, run away, man. Run away. Get away alive. Get away alive. Come on. Just get out of here. Go, go, go. Go. Just get away alive. Just run to the woods and hide. Get out of there. Let's get on around here. There's another blob right here. Let's attack that blob. Runesmith. Yeah, just go hide, bro. Let's take out that corpse cart with the lodestone. And I was actually trying to take out blood knights. But, oh, that lodestone should get wrecked. Take it out. Got some slayers that are going down. Let's get rid of helmet course. I don't think he's gonna like fighting this. Get the uh, unholy lodestone. Lost my thane, but I think he'll stay alive. Let's get Ungrim to help against these black knights. Save our rangers. I'm gonna be pretty excited if I get out of here alive with my. Uh... Let's take out this vampire over here. Let's give our peak gate guard some help. We're gonna need it. Fall back a little here. Trying to focus this vampire out of the fight. Ungrim is up against a lot, and he's honestly doing pretty good. Let's see if we can take out these blood knights or black knights. Nope. They're gonna just keep chasing me. Got caught again over here. Let's target this grave guard. Well, some of the vampire leadership starting to fall apart. Let's put the help over here with Ungrim. Let's go see if we can bail our uh, thunderers out. We might need these guys late game. Come on, you guys take that vampire out. If we can get rid of their leadership, the rest of these guys will fall apart. Let's go. Fire. Okay, that is not what I told you to fire at. Like, come on. Up here. Shoot the vampire. We're gonna end up losing a lot of units here. Okay, this vampire. Kill it. Alright. Vampire dead. Alright, now we got one more right here in the middle. We need to take him out. It's Heinrich Kimmler. Look at that Pete Gate Guard fought to the last the last dollway there. If we can take out Kimmler, maybe. Oh, Ungram's still alive out here, but he is only just. Let's bring this guy back to help him out. Come on, 
target in here. Let's let um, let one quarreler stay and fight there. Let's see if we can take out Heinrich Kimmler. We're gonna somehow get out of this alive with all our leaders, I think. If we can kill Kimmler, I think that the leadership of this vampire army is gonna dry up. Let's get some help up here quick. Come on, take out Kimmler. Manfred's over here too. Holy cow, never mind. We may have more than we can handle here. Come on, finish these guys up. Oh man, Ungram is 29 hit points. Come on. Kill these guys. Oh, Ungram went down. What a joke. I think we're going to lose. Because we lost Ungram, and I haven't killed um, Manfred or Gorst, so we're toast. Break out the salt, boys. Break out the salt. Well, at least if the vampires win here, we're going to make it quite Pyrrhic for them. Freaking Kemmler just won't die. Man, we killed so many vampires, dude. That is so frustrating. Look at Kimler. He's so close to dying, but we're going to run out of ammo. Dang you, Kimler. Manfred's over here fighting Slayers. He's actually not having the best go of it here. I think we overestimated our leader, Blob, this time. Oh, if only we could have killed Manfred, but he's healing too. It's just not gonna happen. We just don't know how we don't have enough slayers left there. Got these long beards still fighting. What else we got? We got these guys came back. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to kill Kemmler. He's healing faster than our crap units can hurt him here. And without Manfred and Kemmler down, this doesn't happen. It's not gonna work. Let's see if we can get a couple of shots on Manfred. Yeah, we should have focused on killing the vampire leadership, and then the rest of their army would have dried up. So I think we should have just done like a more of a standard line, and then um, just gotten Ungrim and the other guys focused in on their leaders one at a time and wrecked them. Because then the vampires just ended up having too much leadership left. All right, let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. My Dawi still put up a heck of a good fight here, but there's just a few too many vampires left. Should we give it another go? <laughs> That's going in the book of grudges. That's right, Nick. I like that grudges there. <laughs> Leah says, make the game crash. No, we're not going to make it crash. I lost. Not the best play on my part. I mean, our grudge stores did what they needed to do. That was not the problem. We didn't focus down their leadership fast enough. If we would have focused out their leadership, then the vampire armies really do fall apart. Part of me wants to give that another shot there, just to show that it can be won if I fight it differently. I think I want to. I want another shot at that. Should we settle the grudge? I want to settle it. I want another shot at it. We could we could definitely rebuild our army here. We'd be fine. I don't think the vampires are going to push us, and we got a whole second army up here, but I really want to see if I can win that again. I want another shot at that fight. I think we can take it. I think we can take it. Let's do it. Let's give it another shot. A 
unlock the lore of grudge. Yeah, I've already got that as the dwarves. We've got some grudge going on. Definitely against these vampire scum. You need the angry drunks. Yeah, I don't want to get all the units killed for everybody here, too. I think we can win this, though. I do think this is winnable. Call of Duty, man. Any tips for learning Warhammer lore? Uh, not for learning the lore. I don't know anything about the lore. Um, suppose you just need to read some books or something like that. Arch Warhammer makes videos about lore, I think. And I think Milk and Cookies has a little bit of lore every now and then. Um, I don't do it, obviously, because I don't know it. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's get let's get a little different setup here this time. Let's keep our leaders back. We want their leaders to come in, and then we'll just pounce on them. It's going to be kind of the way we handle it. Get our skirmishers back. Keep some slayers on the flanks. Get our grudge throwing ready. Make sure everything ranged is on. Probably need to get a charge off with their infantry too, because vampires don't have a good charge, and we should should win the charge against them regardless. All right, here we go. Come on, vampires! I'm over here. Let's do this. Braveheart, thank you for the three. Says nothing like getting off work to chill with air. Well, thank you, sir. Nothing like a stream then without you. Appreciate you being an awesome supporter. We get some love and chat for Braveheart. Thank you, sir. If you are just joining and you saw the retro stream in the title, we did try some of the retro games and then they crashed and I just felt like playing some Ungram. <laughs> so I loaded up some Ungram. Appreciate it, Braveheart. I'm glad you're here, man. All right, come on, vampires. Let's go. All right, well, if they're going to all just get set up over here, then I'm going to kind of reset on this hill, too. And they'll have to attack me uphill into all my skirmishers. The only thing that sucks is i got to move my grudge throwers, but if they start moving towards me, I'll go ahead and move my grudge throwers and just get into a firing position. Here we go. Alright. Brandon. Brandon Patton's back. He says the dwarf siege crossbows are actually pretty good sniping lords. Other large units because of the shot speed. Are you talking about the um you talking about the bolt throwers? I could see them being pretty good for that, obviously. Ooh, man, that was a good one. Too bad it was zombies. I'm gonna target the uh, Grave Guard with great weapons. <laughs> Braveheart, thanks for two more there. Appreciate it, man. Let's get group two over into here. Thank you, Braveheart. Awesome supporter. Let's get some WAP for those guys. Anytime people are kind enough, let's be kind enough to throw some WAP back at them. Yeah, now we got leadership, so see, here's Manfred coming up. Let's get marked Mark by Ulthar ready for him. Alright, over here on Manfred. Let's target him down. See if we can take out Manfred in a big hurry, actually. Probably not. Get him! Team up on him. Worn down a little bit. Just 
that one. Okay, I'm gonna need some help back here, you all. Stay back, stay back. Let's try and take out these black knights here. It's gonna be hard. Slow them down. Does Manfred not die in that fight? How is Manfred not dead? Oh, Eva von Karstein. Oh, he took off running. Dang baby. Should have known. Well, let's finish off these banshees because they'll be pretty. Easy. Oh my gosh. Piece of crap. Black Knights got in behind my grudge throwers. Uh, let's send some slayers back here. We're gonna have to clean that up. That's gonna be a mess. Let's get our runesmith back because he's too damaged for this fight. Get the dragon back slayers over here. We should be able to clean up the knights. Let's get the thunderers up here on the hill and then see if we can target some of this blood knight mess. Those blood knights, that's gonna hurt. Alright, we gotta get these dang cavalry out of the back here. Alright. Let's fall back just a little bit more here. Alright, grudge throwers. We lost one of the grudge throwers. That's most unfortunate. Come on, finish off that cavalry. Manfred keeps running away, so that's getting pretty annoying. He's just running around like an idiot. There we got a big hit on him. Let's see if we can take Manfred out of the fight. What are they using over here on me? Is that Spirit Leech? I'm trying to take out these Blood Knights. Muaz a one. Thank you for the two pounds. He says that I missed most of it. Forgiveness, please, Sensei. No, you didn't miss most. And Reptile King says thanks to you. I'm at 79 subs and counting. Thank you, Reptile King. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Very kind of you, sir. Thank you. We got Venomek dropping the Canadian 2 on me. Your accent makes me tingly in places. I hope that is not a bad thing. Because <laughs> it sounds unpleasant. But thank you for supporting the channel. We've got a huge blob right here that needs to be grudge thrown. But our grudge throwers are getting a little bit wrecked, honestly. And I had to send my slayers over here to deal with some ghouls on the flank. So we got a problem back here. Can, uh, can you all help me take out these dire pack real quick? Come on. Come on, take out that dire pack. Take it out. There we go. Now we should be able to get all our grudge throwers back in, back on uh, target here. Come on, the dire pack didn't die. What a, gosh dang it, I hate that crap. Sneaking unroutable vampires. We're just getting beat down even worse this time, huh? I don't think we're doing any better. I think we're doing worse. Because we probably still haven't killed any of their leaders because of the way they run around like idiots all the time. And already Ungrim is taking a beating. I'm gonna start trying to pour it on in here. Um, let's get group four. Take out Gorst. Take him out. See if we can wear these guys down a little. Let's take the Slayers over here into the fight against all these leaders. Alright, Gorst is taking a beating in a hurry. Come on. I don't want to lose all my heroes here. It's kind of frustrating. Alright, group four. Let's see if we can take Kemler out of this fight real quick. Kind of surprised the Peak Gate Guard aren't getting more work done here. They should be much better than the uh, other units around them. Let's do a little work over here. Alright, the Slayers definitely helped a little bit. Let's go throw those Slayers a little further over here. Enemy Lords down. Let's see, Group 4. Who else do we have on the battlefield? Any more Vampire? I don't see any more vampire. Well, there's a hero right here. Let's get these other units back. We might need that grudge thrower, so let's get into the fight. Right, we're trying to grudge throw my way through some of these. We've got to get these heroes off of us. We lost our runesmith. Ungram's barely alive. 
Gotta get rid of this vampire caster here. The vampires will be out of heroes at that point, but I don't know that I have enough ammo to finish everybody. Come on, get rid of that vampire already. That'll do. Yes. Uh, let's get back here a little. Alright, so Ungram clean that up. Can we turn this around? I don't know if we can. I really don't know if we can. It's just gonna be insanely close if we are able to pull it off. I've gotta keep Ungram alive if we're gonna do it. We need to pull these Grave Guard out here where everything can shoot him. And if we can... The power bar is really our only chance here, and I don't know of any way we're going to be flipping that power bar now. Let's see, no other units that have regrouped. Yeah, we're just getting overrun. Vampires don't rout and we get overrun. And even with all their leadership gone, there's enough of them left that the uh, power bar won't shift. Okay, let's put the rangers over here to fight this so we can keep the thunderers alive. Yeah, we're just running out of units to hold the ground with here. Okay, took another one out of the fight. Let's try and do some work on this blob here. Uh, get your... Crap, man, there's always another unit coming after me here. Gotta split up my skirmishers. Alright, let's see. Okay, the Grave Guard took the bait into this fight. Okay, right here. Fire. Alright, let's see if we can use our Thane to tank some damage. We got the Thunderers left. They should be able to cause a lot of damage. Let's get the Grudge Throwers throwing. Let's get this grudge thrower off and just go hold up this blob a little longer. Take out these grave guard with great weapons. Throw the slayers. Actually, let's pull the slayers out of that fight for a minute. We're still running very short of ammo at this point. I don't know why the stupid grave guard won't crumble already. They've got a lot of chevrons, that could be the reason. Come on, get these guys out of the fight already! How are these vampires not crumbling with that leadership? It's gotta be just the power bar keeping them alive at this point. Let's throw in some more units that have run out of ammo. I don't think there's any way we pull this one off. We're gonna fall just short of units again. I just, I'm not doing the damage appropriately early in these fights in order to swing it. And I'm just not sure we can break the uh, vampire's resolve here. Their leadership is just staying too high. And they're not crumbling. Just get a few of them to crumble. I mean, there's more of me than them at this point, and they don't have any leaders. What is this crap? Let's get these uh, thunders around here. Let's just keep Ungram close. You would think my Thane would be able to help scare these guys out of the fight, right? If I can get my last few shots point blank into the back of this grave guard, that might help. Come on, I mean, there's literally just a few grave guard here, guys. Let's clean them up. I can't risk Thunrum too, uh, Ungram too bad here. All right, point blank. Point blank. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, that was my last volley. All right, can we break the leadership at least? 
bring Ungram in, maybe make them start losing the combat. Come together, lads. Any ammo left? No one's got any ammo left. We do have this peak gate guard. Let's bring the peak gate guard over here. Let's not throw them alone into that, because then they'll die quicker. Come on, how is the leadership holding together here? Vampires are surrounded. They've got no leader. They've got no magic. These two are starting to crumble. We might have a chance. If we can wrap these up, I think we can actually pull this off just barely. If only just. Woo! I am the Slayer King! Wow. These vampires just did not want to die. And this one is going to be hard to take down still. That was going to be a terribly Pyrrhic victory, and I do hope we get our runesmith back. Though there's no guarantee, I suppose. Take these guys out already. These crepe cards are just like, they just don't die. Okay, let's use all the quarrelers up front. These guys, rangers, peak gate guard. There we go. There we go. I knew we could do it. Actually, I didn't. I was pretty sure we were going to lose that. And we basically did. <laughs> but as long as I took them with me, that's a battle I can walk away from happy now. Getting those dire pack into the back of me in the middle of the fight was just, that was difficult. I've got so many skirmishers at this point, I almost wonder if it's too many because I don't have enough infantry to really protect the back line. Man, I don't want to lose my runesmith. Crap! It's not easy to get that runesmith back. Well, it wasn't a pretty victory, but we had a victory nonetheless. We need hammers. We need some hammers. Alright. Alright. Man, that battle was rough. I grow restless. I'm not gonna die. Said back to our hole. Yes. Um, I don't know. We could recruit units while we were in that. There we go. Um, let's think here. Is it time for us to switch over away from grudge throwers, maybe? I don't know, though. Gold Chevron. Just almost too good. Cut gold Chevrons on all these guys, so I don't want to get rid of them. We can't get a hold of long beards with great weapons, which definitely would help a lot in this case. Long beards with great weapons. We've got to have. That's the building for a thane, so how come. Oh, we have the max number of thanes, that's right. Vengeful Rune Lord. Vengeful Rune Lord? That's the best kind of Rune Lord. Let's see if we can go hit Waldenhof and start taking some territory off the vampires. Looks like I'm still replenishing just a bit. I am the Slayer okay. King. Well, we got to wait nine turns to get these units back, which that's kind of painful. Because I will want those units back. Yes, for Slayer Definitely need some Slayers back. All right, let's just see what we can do. Um... Building wise, I need Carrot Kadrin to level up. We still got eight turns until we have enough to build up to the next level settlement, which we really need so that we can get to the next tier of units. Ten. 
Technically, we'll have one more infantry unit in the build now because we lost a runesmith. Now, I could have run away, Ian, and running away would have been the better choice in that fight because I probably could have gotten away and fought less vampires. Uh, but I just wanted to fight a bunch of vampires. But yes, running away would have been the smarter choice there, and then I could have lured the vampires further away and easily beaten them down in a smaller fight. So that would have been the, uh, the smarter thing to do for sure, Ian. Oh, wow, yeah, they did come to siege me. Lord of Clan Borgrim. All right, well, you want to come siege me? Should be able to get a couple turns, get over here. Where are they getting these giant stacks of Grave Guard? These guys just have like limitless supplies of Grave Guard. Uh, I'm gonna fight him. I'm not gonna let him sit here and siege me. I think we got enough Thunderers that if we can keep uh, most of their army, because they don't have as many fast movers in this army, so if we can just have enough infantry to hold tight, our Thunderers should be able to rip these guys a new one. Let's see what we can do here. What? Really? They're gonna Look at the way they split the reinforcements for everybody. Is this at all what this looked like on the map, CA? Can we get some CA, please? Is this what it looked like on the campaign map? Was there vampires behind me? And I, my, both of my armies came from the same settlement. How did the vampires, like, how did we get sandwiched in between each other? CA, please. I, this is stupid. It's absolutely stupid. I thought they fixed this crap. I remember seeing this in a patch. Because it's not fixed. That was anything but fixed. Uh, let's go into slow motion here. Slayer death blows kill heroes well. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks for the two, Brandon. Appreciate the continued support, man. Yeah, the Slayer death blows. I can see that being good against heroes. Every time they kill them, the Slayers take more of their health off. We're going to get attacked here before we're really ready to deal with it. I'm going to have to just do my best to come back this way with all these reinforcements. And then let's get these guys grouped and kept in the back so we can target down key units. Let's see if we can kill their master necromancer. Alright. Just a second. I'm going to focus fire this. Grave guard, great weapons. <laughs> All right. Let's get this infantry line. Grouped up there as well. All right, let's hit plate. There we go. Let's see if we can take these great weapons out of the fight. back a little. We pretty much killed that Grave Guard with great weapons. Let's use our Thane to hold up a flank. Got another Grave Guard with great weapons. We're going to have to go out here and get behind the Grave Guard. Let's go this way. 
Alright, let's do this. See if we can take these uh, feasters of the dusk out. And we should be able to get point blank on these grave guard. If we can use our guns properly here, we will win this fight. Over here, get that master necromancer. Oh yeah, we're going to massacre vampires right here. We're going to have to do it quickly because our long beards are fading. Alright, feasters in the dusk are gone. Let's uh let's get a good angle with some of these skirmishers. So that we don't hit as many friendly units with them. Okay, yeah, we got a nice flank shot coming here. Let's do a mark by Ulthar on these guys. Well, and you should have Look at this! Yeah, perfect line of sight. Go, shoot him. Take him out of the fight. What are you guys waiting on? Christmas? Shoot these guys. Alright, the Thane is beating up the Master Necromancer. Our guns are doing okay here. Quarrelers for the ancestor gods. Trying to shoot up these vampires as best I can here. Okay, let's see what units we got together here. I don't want to lose any more units in this army, and I need to keep Ungram safe because uh, I really want these units to replenish. Come on, Thunderers. Tear these guys a new one already. I'm gonna try and use my garrison units as much as possible in this fight. Alright, Vampire Lord went down. Let's use our Thane to tank while we shoot these guys. I don't know how the vampires live for this long. I mean, this is a withering barrage of skirmish fire here. Uh, cleaned up one flank. Again, let's just let the small units stay here and take the damage while we shoot them up. throwing that guy just okay perfect clean that one up Thane get back over here let's take these quarrelers up here because that master necromancer should be an easy target for him and we should be able to clean up the vampires just even by leadership here let's get the uh, Dawi firing squad set up this guy should wreck the necromancer There we go. Man, those grave guards seem like hit point sponges. Where are you going, Necromancer? Don't you come play? take all these skirmishers forward. We'll take the beat up remnants of this garrison infantry too, in case we need it. Okay. Take him out. Let him run away. Dang coward. Master Necromancer should die. If we can get up on top of this hill, he'll die faster. Take him out of the fight, and that should be a chain route here, because all they've got over here is a corpse cart and a few beat up ragtag units. There we go. Yeah, this guy's gonna die extremely quick. Or re die, I should say. Shoot him! Shoot him. Let's pull back so more units can shoot him. Sir, long beards. Yeah. 
There he goes. He's toast. Let's get up on top of this hill. Alright. So the vampires only have one leader left. And I've got more than enough firepower and ammunition at this point. Let's get the guns up front. Quarlers behind. Alright, move it boys. Let's get in position. Firing squad ready. Any last words from these vampires? Hopefully not. Oh yeah, they're gonna do a cavalry charge on me. Don't think it'll make it, but... Yeah, it will make it actually, and it's a blood knight too. Back. Fall back. Let's let my Thane tank that out. Group one. Take out the corpse cart. Shoot the blood knights. Shoot these guys. Alright. And that's gonna be all she wrote for these Sanganaz filth. And their sorry attempt to siege me. What's going on, Bulk Temp? Marshall's Voices, welcome. Good to see both you guys here. Machia, thank you for joining. Appreciate it, man. Bad, bad Mert. Dropping 369 on me in the Hungarian forens again, huh? Good to see you again, man. Thank you for joining again. Got some Hungarian pride going on there. Let's get some wah in the chat for Bad Bad Mert. Thank you, kind sir. Brody, welcome. Good to see you. Yosef, Zarpath, still glad you're here, man. Thank you for uh, sponsoring today. Am I going to go down Ungram's melee tree? Yes, Eric, I am. The slayer in me seeks death. <laughs> Brendan said he thought those were dollars. No. No, someone would be pretty crazy to be dropping road. that kind of money on me. Not sure that they need to be even thinking about doing something like that. Let's see here. It's too hard to hit, so we can keep going down the melee tree for Ungram. And then we got Deadly Onslaught. That cannot hurt. He says, you bet I got some Hungarian pride. Good, man. It's awesome. Glad to hear it. Really appreciate all your support on these streams. It's awesome having you around. Okay, Bad Bad Mert asked how long I'd stream. Probably not a whole lot longer. Because I've been on here a couple hours, need to get out and spend some time with the family. <laughs> 